All right, you guys, so here's what we got going on. So we've had this hat here with our new adhesive that we decided to roll with going for about 48 hours. So 48 hours to cure on this leather veg tan patch. We attempted the next day, so after 24 hours, we attempted to peel this thing off and oh my gosh, it was hard. I had to stop at this point. I mean, it's... I can't even peel it. Extremely hard. So again, polyurethane based, but this one has waterproof properties. So this one is designed for like wetsuit material, anything water resistant, waterproof, and it's water resistant up to 40 degrees Celsius in your washing machine. So if for some reason, maybe you have this on apparel or a beanie and you've washed it on maybe medium heat, cold water, uh, you should be good. Recommended, you know, custom patches and whatnot to go ahead and hand wash them. But either way, what we're gonna do again is because this patch is already kind of quarter peeled, you see here, there's a lot of leather still on this material, a lot. So we're gonna dip this hat in the water. So same dunk test we did before, we're gonna dip this one in and we're going to see the results. Now the cool thing I will tell you about this adhesive, in testing, this wasn't your normal adhesive. So the great thing that I found with this adhesive is on the Hotronics Fusion IQ 360 hat press, we were able to get to an astounding 225 degrees on upper heat and 273 on lower heat. Why is that cool? So where we were talking before about having a hot melt that has a low melting point, it actually worked out better having this type of adhesive because where a lot of other companies are at a high temperature range, a lot of people are pushing, uh, you know, 280 upper, 300 lower. That's insane. Like that's, that's a high temperature, like a regular standard hot melt adhesive. One thing that's a benefit and you probably can't even tell that this is leatherette. But one thing that is a benefit of this material, look at how thick that stuff is, just wonderful. This is the vintage collection, is the fact that when you have lower heat on the top, this is a good thing because this material right here is a three layer material. So meaning there's two layers of adhesive that are already on this. So you have your upper layer which is your upper your actual color layer your leather simulation then you have the adhesive then you have the padding then you have your adhesive right so when you have less heat hitting this top that is a good thing and we probably can even get down to 200 degrees fahrenheit on upper heat uh, but so far we've had fantastic results at 225 so that means less heat on the top which gives less failure points for separation of this material. You can notice in this picture right here, that upper layer is separating from the, the padding layer, okay? This is what we're trying to avoid. So when you can do lower heat on the top, that's a good thing because you don't risk over melting the top layer of adhesive and having a failure point or maybe the adhesive because it's been reheated maybe it's not curing properly in the second go round. So that's one thing that I can say that I really love about that scenario. Failure points are gonna probably be based on people using standard leatherette adhesive that has standard adhesive in between. We are upgrading that in between layer of adhesive. So we shouldn't have any crazy failure points when it comes to that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, based on the testing, of the two different adhesives, so the two main adhesives we were going to go with on the polyurethane, uh, we had um, our example here, that was example one and example two. You could see there, that's the leatherette. It, it didn't even come off, the full shape of the leatherette is still on the hat. And a pretty thick amount is, is on this. So that's a good thing, and again, when we applied the test, and this was this one here, was at 225, at 265 on the bottom, 225 upper, pressure of about four to five, and we have 40 seconds. That that hit not only the leatherette, super fine, but it also hit the leather right here. You see a full amount of leather on that 
hat right there all the way around so fantastic i mean that is the results that we've been going after that we've been wanting to do and that we're achieving and we're achieving them at astounding temperatures i like the fact that when you're below 250 degrees you're also not in the range of scorching material so you're way below at 225 hitting a patch even though we're still using the silicone hat mat which by the way we're going to be introducing a new silicone hat mat we're now going to have the transparent silicone hat mat why is that awesome because now when you apply the hat mat you're going to be able to see your patch still on the product or anything that you're decorating dtf whatnot on the product to, to just to kind of make sure that you have perfect placement so these will be on the website soon uh the transparent hat mat that is a freshly engineered silicone that we had custom developed actually in china so this was custom made to the very specifications that we needed and both sides have a certain uh, feel on both sides of that silicone so again great when you can work direct with a manufacturer who's able to accomplish those type of specifications for you so in we go this is leatherette that we hit yesterday and my goodness i will tell you when this stuff cures after 24 hours this adhesive is insane insane so let's keep in mind again this one is waterproof rate rated wetsuit material it's kind of designed for that uh, it's one of the only adhesives that feature these type of properties up to a certain degree i think it can go as high as 60 degrees celsius on the washing temperatures and whatnot so we're gonna pop this in the water don't mind the mess. There's been so much experimenting going on here lately. All right, there's our water. So it's kind of cool because we have this kind of semi-open patch here. We want to see if the, the, the adhesive gets underneath that and maybe causes this to fail somehow. But if when we take this out, it still has those waterproof properties and this thing is hard to peel, that's just an ultimate winner winner. So we're gonna pop this in here. And I'm gonna say by later today, we're gonna go ahead and take this out and then see exactly where it's at. I'm gonna turn that upside down just so that it's fully submerged in the water. So there we go. This is just once again, the final testing based on the adhesive that we're going with. When a company says this is water braided, well, we wanna actually see if it's water rated in regards to patches. All right, so that's what we got going on. That is the current and final testing that we're just doing with this adhesive. I'm pretty confident in it. Either way, even if this gives me a little bit of hesitation when trying to peel it, this adhesive is a winner. I, I haven't so far seen an adhesive that has got me that low on temperatures and rocked. I think on the leatherette, we were at 35 seconds so i think we we said with our thicker leatherette the 1.80 millimeter leatherette we're hitting at 35 seconds and then we're hitting actual leather these results right here at 40 seconds so we could probably even go as low as 30 seconds on the leatherette and then 40 seconds on leather so that is a cool thing but either way you can find that in between and, and it just works. So that's how awesome this adhesive is. So I don't think we're gonna have any problems. Originally, we were gonna go 18, mil, 18 millimeter on the thickness of that adhesive, but I think we might go with the, the five mil, the, the 0.12 millimeter. I think that's gonna be a good adhesive for both ends and it'll be just right. So these are the temperatures we found though at 225 upper, 265 to 275 lower that worked just right at a setting of about four on the pressure. It was really nice because it didn't require super strong, heavy pressure to get this adhesive going and put it down and have a very, very, very nice result. This was 225 at, uh, I believe, 35 seconds and 270 on the bottom. But you can see that result is just wonderful. So again, super thick on the top, really nice thickness uh, it's it's equivalent to the the four ounce five ounce leather that we're doing um, which we really like 
by the end of the day, we will come back to this hat and we will pull it from the water and we'll attempt to see what that patch does if it gives us some resist resistance. I'm definitely guaranteeing that this patch will not be like the other patch that just peeled right off the hat. Much, much later. All right, so here's what we're doing. Taking it out of the water now. So we've had the hat in the water and man, that water, the dye from the hat kind of colored the water a bit. So what we're gonna do now, this is the waterproof adhesive. So we're just gonna see what type of bond it still has on this hat, okay? So we're gonna set that lid aside and we're just gonna pull this out. There's the hat out of the water, okay? Now remember, this was the hat where we couldn't really peel it anymore because it was, it was on there. So, gosh, dang it, it's freaking strong. All right, let me grab, let me grab the pliers again real quick. All right, so again, as somebody stated before, if you've got to use the pliers to get your product off your hat. Now, this is the stuff that's designed, it's made for waterproofing, okay? Jesus, oh. oh geez, all right, it kind of hurt. <laughs> all right, so there we go, look at that. So this was the part that was soaked in the water still, okay? You can see that there's a full layer of leather still on the hat, and we just literally peeled that off. So this is it, guys. This just proved that this was the adhesive we wanted. We wanted that strength still in the the hat where you literally got to use pliers to take it off as the hat is soaking wet. Now I've seen guys do a wet test, okay, where they've taken the hat out of the water, but they let it dry, okay? They let it dry. We did not let this dry to make life easy. We didn't let this have an opportunity to re-cure and dry itself. We wanted to see how strong it would be while it was wet because again, this represents sweat. Uh, you know, if, if on a happy day, you just decided to wear this in a pool, you know, with your hat on, I always get in a swimming pool with my hat on. I always do. So it gets wet. You know, I wanna know, hey, if the patch that I put on my hat gets wet, is it gonna stay or is it gonna pop off when the hat dries and all of a sudden the adhesive is doing something funky? The proof is in the testing right here, guys. So again, why are we doing this? because we're building confidence in this adhesive and, and what we're doing. Now, again, this is washable up to 40, 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius is 104 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So even at 60, you're at about 140 degrees. So either way, anytime you got something with a patch on it, one, you know, you, you might want to tumble dry low or on very cool heat, medium heat, uh, it depends on how hot your dryer or how hot your washing machine gets, okay? Probably cool water is what you're gonna wanna use for any products like beanies, or if for some reason you've got, um, again, a product on apparel or a pair of sweats, a pair of shorts, maybe you have a tag on there. So something where you're using this adhesive, even on acrylic, uh, those are your temperature ranges, okay? So between 104 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 to 60 Celsius, okay? So that's it, guys. I'm super happy with this right here. You know, when you compare this side right here, the coloring to this side right here. So this is the part we had peeled and you see how much darker that is. So because this is lighter, that tells me that this adhesive was still, um, it didn't penetrate this adhesive. The other adhesive we were using, it penetrated that to where it totally came off the hat clean. It didn't leave this amount of leather it's a lot of leather to still have on the patch, okay? So there you guys go. That is Grip Tech for the win. We have it up for pre-order and we're about to finalize everything probably this week. Uh, the leatherette's already finalized, so they're, that's already in production and that'll be coming, like I said, uh, late October, November. So around holidays, it gets crazy. So if you guys need the material that's on our website, essentialprintsupply.com on the leatherette or adhesive, uh, get it now before it's too late that way because we don't know how or when this stuff will be in stock overseas um, because of you know how popular it is so 
while it's there, get it now to guarantee you have this product. For those of you guys that are companies that maybe want to brand your own hats, okay? You've got a hat company and you want to brand hats with maybe riveted tags or, or some type of custom patch. Maybe you want to use one of our collections to be able to have us create your patches or tags or, you know, if there's anything you want us to decorate, you can have the option of being able to mass order in bulk the fabric and we keep it in stock for your company. That way it's always in-house in stock for you. And as you need it, you would just say, hey, James, we, we need this made. Can you, can you make this? Then you're only paying for the labor end because you already paid for the product by the yard, okay? So that's an option. You can personally re reach out to me if you have a situation like that. But if you're ordering sheet stock, that's already on the website. Go ahead and order that for now. We feel we've done a good job in showing you guys the adhesive, so. Oh, there it is. Um, thanks for watching. We'll get at you again on the leatherette and really showing you in depth uh, some more stuff with leatherette uh, or the colors that we've chosen and how we did it. You know, we have the full book. So we've got the full book of everything that we've we've gotten right here. So um, that's all the samples that we have and we're able to sift through the colors. We already know what we're gonna do with that and we're gonna be pretty happy. Uh, some of you guys that are from the Lone Star end, you know, you're, you're a big fan of the Heritage Collection. We already have that. So that's already gonna be available on our site. We are actually gonna get the no foam option for that as well because a lot of people have been requesting that for the beanies and for the rivet tags for the size of your hats, just like you see here. So if that's something you're interested in, you can also do that through us or you can custom laser that or if you just need info, whatever. So there you guys go. That's the info I got for you. This was the official, official dunk test to prove that this was the one that we wanted and this was the results that I was looking for and I got them. So pretty stoked. All right, till next video guys, post in the comments, let us know how we're doing, questions. Hey, you got anything custom that you're working with? Let us know, man. Create a dialogue. We love to chat with you guys. Uh, check out the uh, Facebook group. That's very important to get into. You can look us up, Essential Print Supply on Facebook. It is super hot in this shop right now. So I'm gonna get out of here and get back into the 68 degree AC cooled house. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.